Okay, so we are heading to the gate and uh, our flight is about to board. I'll be honest, I don't know how long the walk is, so we're gonna, we're gonna see. We have landed in Bucharest. It looks like it's just rained. And now we're just gonna get through security and get a taxi to the hotel. Okay, so an interesting system here at Bucharest Airport. I got a ticket for the taxi and now I just gotta wait. Okay, uh, so we weren't going to make it on time to get to the hotel to meet the other guys, so I've come straight to the restaurant, which is here. Let's go and see what's what. Okay, so apparently I went to the wrong restaurant to begin with, but we're now at possibly the right restaurant. She said that there was a group of people coming to this restaurant, which is here, um, but no one's here yet, so I'm just going to chill out and enjoy this view. Right, so we're in this place, and uh, I'm out with all the other guys. It's Wednesday morning and we are having some breakfast in this rather lovely restaurant with the main man Dara. Get the impression he's a bit camera shy. He won't be by the end of the week though. <laughs> The competitors. <laughs> okay, this is where the tournament's gonna be happening later on. As you can see behind me, they are still putting some chairs out at the back and you can see there's the uh, feature table right behind me here. Let's go and have a look. Okay, so it's coming up to about two o'clock now and we're just about to go down and register for uh, the Deep Stack Open. If I can find my way out. This way to the elevators. First tournament in Bucharest. First opportunity for the Romanian flag. Let's get it. Okay, this is my uh, table just behind me here. Okay, so we're on the first break in the Deep Stack Open, a 330 euro buy-in. Um, start with 30k, I've got about 20k left, so uh, not a great few levels. I had kings and queens, uh, multi-way pot, ace high board, lots of action, fold. Three bet bluffed once with a king nine suited, bet two streets and got raised on the turn. So we let that one go and yeah, that's a surefire way to lose a uh, 30 stack. So that's basically what's happened so far. 15 minute break now and then back in for level four. Okay, so we busted the deep stack open. Uh, we were playing six handed, under the gun open, small blind flat, so we've got about 30 big, so I'll just pile it in with ace queen off. And we run into ace king and we don't find a queen, so uh, we are out of that one. Uh, heading back to the room now to relax for a bit and then gonna see about getting some food and then might just uh, grind online, so yeah, see what happens. Let's go. It is uh, Thursday and I've got a day off today. Uh, I had some breakfast earlier on and then a little snooze. And now I'm gonna go and check out the old town.
Okay, we made it to the old town and we've come to a restaurant uh, recommended to us by Dara. It's called the Karusu Bear. Uh, a table for one and we're gonna see what food and drink is like in this place. Okay, this place is absolutely incredible. Um, I don't know if it was like a church or something, but there's uh, stained glass windows, the atmosphere is incredible. I ordered a beer and it came within 15 seconds. The girl, uh, she must have done something on the iPad because the beer just suddenly turned up. And uh, yeah, so I've ordered some goulash, not very Romanian, I know it's Hungarian, but it's kind of close, uh, with some bread. Uh, it's gonna take about 20 to 25 minutes, so we're gonna just chill out, enjoy this beer, so. Uh, Cheers. Nice. Let's try it with some bread. The food was amazing, really tasty, bread was lovely. And I got a coffee to end the meal, beer's finished. And after this, we're going to head back to the hotel. Okay, so it is Thursday night. It's about 10 o'clock, I guess. Oh no, it's half past 10. And we're gonna go down now for some welcome drinks. Uh, just waiting on Dara to do his hair. Now Dara described it as lots of nerds standing around talking about poker. So, sounds perfect. All right, top tip from Dara is to register for big events. They're gonna get lots of runners the night before. So it's something I did when I was in Vegas, but I didn't even think about it here, but he suggested it. The great man himself, there he is. And now it's time for some drinks. Okay, so earlier on today, uh, Molly Bloom did a uh, press conference and you can just see her, kind of, she's in there. There's the film as well called Molly's Game. It's all about the uh, the huge game that she had running in New York. So yeah, she's here to um, support Unibet and uh, I think support the ladies tournament tomorrow. Uh, so yeah, it's pretty cool that she's here. And uh, yeah, so I'm here with the main man, Hotted89, <laughs> aka Alan Bidman. Yes. Is that how you would say it? Actually, yes. I'm You're one of the one of the only people that say it like that. Ich habe Deutsch von Abitur studiert. What? Yeah. Oh yeah, I'm impressed. Mein, mein Deutsch ist super. It actually is pretty good. Oh, thank you. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so you played the tag team, but what happened in the same game? Oh, I got second. Um, uh, I've already won it once. And I really wanted to get a second win, but I mean, it was, it was, the stats were super shallow, yeah, yeah, yeah. and I did a super big mistake. That hey, but for making mistakes, that's how you learn, right? Exactly. Yeah. So you got it in with King Three. You got it in good. Yeah. Against the ten nine, and then ten on the block. And then at the end, like the river, I had a flush draw. Didn't get it. Ah. <laughs> Unlucky. You playing the main tomorrow? Yeah, I'm playing the main tomorrow. What about you? Definitely, yeah. Awesome. Yeah. So looking forward to that. For people on my channel, where can they find you? Oh, everything's hot at 89, plain and simple. I stream on Twitch a lot. Uh, even though it's mostly gaming, I do also poker. And uh, I've actually been doing some study sessions with the man here. <laughs> uh, they're awesome. I sometimes feel really sad, really bad because I'm like, okay, I don't want to say anything stupid when I'm like with a bunch of bosses. So I'm just like quiet, trying to learn and like just, just observe. It's super cool. Yeah. And uh, yeah, you guys should definitely check out these videos. I'm actually checking some of your vlogs. Yeah. I like it. Yeah. Good stuff. So definitely check him out, Haunted89. And uh, yeah, we're both, uh, we're both going to ship the main. Well, we'll we're see chopping, each other in the final Chop the main. We're going to chop the main. Okay, <laughs> peace. <laughs> So that's pretty cool. Just got a book signed, had a little chat with Molly. I've already given Tambert a shout out. Great photographer. Uh, <laughs> uh, so he's just here, just taking photos. Unibet paparazzi. Funny guy. Uh, yeah, so it's pretty cool. We got, we got a copy of the book. Looking forward to reading that and uh, probably need to watch the film at some point as well. So right now, it's okay. <laughs> We're just heading down to the tournament area now. It's coming up to about uh, half past 12. 
and uh, yeah, it's time for day 1B. Hey, uh, it's time for day 1B of the main event. Uh, so we're going to be going into level 2, I believe it's uh, 100, 200 with 25 ante, and you start with 30,000 chips. So still got 150 bigs, uh, hour long levels, so still plenty of time to do some damage. Let's get it. Okay, so we're on the first break, I uh, played about 30 minutes, start with 30k, I've got about 26k right now, squeeze with 10s, uh, fairly big, 100, 200, uh, cutoff opens to 5, button flats, I squeeze to 2.5 with 10s from the small blind, uh, just the cutoff calls, and then uh, the flop's king high, I see bet, about third pot, he calls, uh, turns of 4, it's like king 8, 5 board. Turns of four, so six seven gets there, but he checks back. He goes check check on the on the turn, and the river's a jack. Uh, so I check. He bets about half pot. And the draws have missed, so like flush draws have missed. But I think he can bet any king x in this way. Uh, I have two black tens, so I probably should make a call. In theory, um, I just felt in the, at that point that he's probably going to be under bluffing, and uh, I let it go. Uh, played a couple of others where we lost a few chips, and then we've won a few chips. So we came back to around 26k, uh, and we're going back to 150, 300 after the break. Okay, so it's second break in the main event. Um, pretty eventful two hours. We were as low as 17k from a 30k starting stack, and we finished level four with 30, just over 32,000, 32,850. Yeah, pretty swingy, uh, the last two levels. I uh, have managed to hit some hands. The cutoff opens, uh, small blind flats. We defend 7-7 seven, seven in the big blind. Flock comes 10-7 deuce, uh, rainbow. Goes check, 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 all the way around. Uh, ten of clubs on the turn, so it puts a flush draw out there now, and two tens, obviously. Small blind leads, and a uh, decision here between calling and raising, uh, I decide to uh, raise, because we get value from 10x and flush draws. Uh, and some straight draws like 9-8 and the button folds and uh, the small blind who led he folded as well so you can always yeah, know in hindsight like calling there keeps in you know some bluffs and weaker hands that he can have um, but I think it's probably a mix on that turn the thing is that I'm trying to work out what bluffs I have on that turn and there aren't too many so uh, maybe it makes makes more sense as a call uh, but we had raised Finish with 32,850 from 30k starting stack. We're into, going into level five now, which is, uh, I believe, 3.6. And yeah, that's where we're currently at. And uh, we're going to go back now. So let's get it. Yeah, Players and dealers and men of MC1B coming back to a new level. Three. Starting, please. Okay, so I uh, only had an hour there. Uh, now on a table with uh, WSOP main event final table is Jack Sinclair. Uh, he's two to my right. You know, you're going to get onto a table with uh, with a decent player. You're better to be on their left than uh, than on their right. So yeah, pretty uh, pretty happy about that. And uh, yeah, 15 minute break, and then we're back to it. Let's get it. Okay, we just had dinner break. Uh, we're going back to uh, 600, 1200 with I presume a 200 ante. We have about 30 big blinds, maybe just under like 27, 28. Very, very up and down uh, last few hours. Let's see what happens from here. Okay, uh, so it's about 10 o'clock and we just finished, uh, we're on a break and yeah, went from uh, a low of 15K uh, to a high now of 134k. Pretty good couple of hours, couple of levels there. Two more levels left of the night. Uh, we're going back to 1k, 2k now. So we have around 67 bigs. Let's get it. Okay, uh, so that's day one over. We did bag and we bagged exactly 170,000. Uh, to go back to day two, that's tomorrow. Uh, we go back to 1500, 3k. So we've got just over 50 bigs. Uh, we peaked at around 210 maybe, 210k. Uh, we lost two, uh, two, two little pots really. Um, button opens off 11 bigs to like 2.5x. I, I shove with king queen off. Big blind wakes up with queens. Uh, he only had 12 bigs and pot comes with jack 10. So we have like any king, any nine, any ace, but we don't get there. So we lose that one. And then uh, later on, we open King Jack uh, on the button. Uh, big blind defense, uh, flop comes ace, king, three. 
Uh, check, check, I've got King Jack. Uh, turns uh, an eight of hearts, so putting the flush draw out there. Uh, he leads, I call. The river's another ace, so pretty tough for him to have an ace now. Uh, flush draw misses, we've got King Jack with no hearts, uh, so we completely unblock the missed flush draws. He leads, and we call, and he has ace queen, so we lose that one. Those are the only two significant parts, so we lost like 40k in those two spots. The 40k at the last level was 16 big blinds, so, you know, not the end of the world. Uh, but yeah, going back to 170k tomorrow. Now I'm gonna have a beer, relax, and then get a good night's sleep before tomorrow. Let's get it. Okay, good morning. It is Saturday, uh, it's just morning. Uh, slept in till about 10.30, so I went to bed about 3 a.m. I guess last night, had a, a drink after finishing day one. Got to bed about three, I woke up at 10.30. Um, got ready, meditated, and now it's uh, 11.30, and day two starts in 30 minutes. So rushing now to get to uh, downstairs to get some coffee and some food, and ready to play day two. I don't know, it looks like we're on the table with this absolute sicko, Freddy. <laughs> <laughs> right, day two, gonna start in three minutes. Okay, uh, so a rough couple of levels, uh, a bit of a showers hour to be honest, in the first hour lost every single part I was in. Uh, so we started with 170k and I was down to 38. I played six hands maybe and lost them all. Uh, so yeah, pretty rough. Uh, managed to double, uh, we're up to 74 now, going back to 2.5k, 5k with a 500 ante. Uh, but yeah, rough couple of levels. Uh, let's see what happens now and uh, yeah, get back on it. Let's get it. Okay, so there are 89 left, 87 paid. And uh, this guy's got all the chips. <laughs> Okay, so the bubble just burst. Uh, Queens versus Jacks on the feature table, which is over there. And uh, yeah, so we're in the money. Uh, 1,860 locked up, uh, 103k up top. So just 86 players to go. Let's get it. Sad news, guys. We busted the main in 75th place. Uh, for 2,070 euros. We've just registered for the 330 super stack. Let's get that one instead. Right, okay, well that was short-lived. Final hand in the super stack, I uh, hijack opens, I three bet jam with ace jack off, uh, he calls with sevens, I'm, in the, I'm on the button with like 12 big blinds. Six, eight, nine flop, turn ace, river five. So uh, he has a straight and we bust. And yeah, that's pretty much it. So yeah, this tournament's done. I think there may well be a hype for tomorrow, but um, yeah, might well play that. Uh, for now, I'm just gonna go and probably do some more relaxing, maybe have a beer. Um, there was some talk of me doing some commentary tonight because lots of people are going to the players' party and I don't really fancy it. I fancy doing some commentary instead. So I'm gonna do the commentary, I think, on the stream uh, for Unibet and uh, yeah, it's pretty cool. Okay, so we're here uh, behind the scenes at uh, Unibet Open main event. There are 22 players left, and uh, you can see behind me Diver and uh, Dara doing the commentary right now. We're going to jump on in a little while, hopefully, and uh, yeah, see, uh, see what happens. Anton is now hating life that he bet bottom pair and a backdoor flush draw. Can we talk about the check check jam there with the, with the check jam and pray he doesn't have the ace? Yeah, I mean <laughs> versus under the gun. I mean yeah. they're playing six-handed and Anton's and it, been opening a lot of hands. But yeah, yeah, because if he doesn't have the ace, you want him to keep it barreling as well. I think. Yeah, good discipline. I think it's, yeah. uh, you can get a little bit carried away and uh, with the big stack and flick it in there. But yeah, uh, some good discipline. I think. Okay, so just finished the commentary for tonight. Uh, day two is over. Uh, you can just see uh, David Lappin in the background with Dara. David made day three, so he's coming back tomorrow, which is great news. And yeah, it was really fun commentary. Really happy to have uh, been asked to do that with, uh, with Dara. So I'll sign off. Night, guys. Okay, so it's Monday. It is, no, it's not Monday. It's Sunday, it's midday. The uh, tournament I'm just about to go down and play now started about a minute ago, so 
Uh, I'm going to rush down and play that. It is the 220 euro uh, progressive super knockout. Uh, so I've never played a live uh, PSKO before. So that should be pretty fun. Only 15 minute blinds though, and for a live tournament that's uh, really, really fast. We're looking at like just a few hands per level. So the tournament shouldn't take too long at all. Uh, I guess it kind of depends on the numbers. There is a, a hyper turbo later on today as well. So we might play that. Uh, I guess we'll just see what happens in the PSKO. So for now, heading down, play the 220. Let's get it. Okay, so we're on the break in the PSKO. I uh, have 17.4K from 15K start, uh, no bounties yet. And we're going back to 500, 1K with a 1K big blind empty. So uh, 17 big, so we're gonna be, uh, gonna be all in, I think, in the next, uh, next few levels. So let's get it. So we, we made yes. a final table. Uh, Let's go. We, we're not in the money yet though. No, <laughs> five paid? No, five. five paid, 10 left. It's about time. <laughs> yeah, still half the field to go. Um, but we made an FT. And who doesn't love to make FTs, right? Okay, uh, so we're on a break from the 110 euro hyper. Uh, there are six left and five paid, and I'm one of them. Uh, just won an all in aces versus jacks. Uh, so. We were six of seven, I think we're probably now like three of six. Uh, so yeah, it's bubble time, we're having a break and uh, yeah, let's try and win it after the break. Let's get it. Okay, we are in the money, five left, let's get it. Okay, so we just finished fourth in the 110 euro hyper turbo uh, for 400 euros. We made 50 euros in the bounty tournament earlier on, so we're up on the day, uh, it's not a bad result. Um, going home with an extra, what, 100 euros? Let's go eat. Okay, so it's our last night here in Bucharest and we're just gonna go for a drink downstairs in the lobby. I guess it's the lobby. It's kind of just the restaurant area with all of the, uh, with the bar on. So that's where we're gonna go now. I don't think there's any poker going on anymore. So that's kind of it. I know some people are uh, playing online, but we're not, are we, Dara? Nope. Uh, they tried to organize a staff tournament. Oh yeah? But they found that they couldn't, so they they're trying to run a staff cash game now, which seems like a remarkably bad idea. Yeah. What? Do you like playing cash? No. Nah, me neither. Yeah. Main event winner, Sabar, just here. He's a very, very good online record. Very, very good. And, uh, Absolutely crushed the final table, just said it was uh, easy, uh, apparently. Right hand. For me, that's 9-3. Uh, <laughs> uh, it was he folding, 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 and one time decided. It was two good players. Another was very well. Yeah, really, really well. Okay, so it's about quarter to eight on Monday morning, and my plan was to leave for the airport about 8.30. I give myself plenty of time to catch an 11.35 flight. Uh, Dara just got a message from one of the Unibet guys saying that there's massive queues at the airport. So we're leaving about 45 minutes early, uh, and yeah, if we end up in the airport early, then we can grab some breakfast. Uh, before the flight, so that's the plan right now. Gonna go down, get an Uber, and go to the airport. Okay, so it's about maybe one person in front of me in the queue to get through security. No delays so far. I can definitely get some breakfast now, um, but I'm here very, very early. Okay, that's it. We are leaving Romania. Just about to board this flight back to Luton. That's the end of the trip. Uh, so, thank you so much for uh, checking out this video. If you really like the video, give it a like and definitely make sure you subscribe. And I will see you soon. Peace. Sweat the smell is so lovely And I won't ever sell my soul But you could buy the lease And don't believe in make-believe Just make your hands meet Say you're weak and end the